to SciTi Tech. In this video, I want to make an RGB LED flashlight with six RGB LEDs, common cathode, and I want to use a 1K ohm resistor, three on off switches, two perf boards, one 9 volt, one 9 volt battery connector, and LED light reflectors. Let's get started. So, I'm going to start with putting these LEDs into the perf board, align them up in three in a row, push them down so that way they're into place better. And then I'm going to take my LED reflector and put them in just like that. And press it in there pretty firm so that way it's into place. There we go, just like that. And now I'm going to go and solder them in. And I'm going to solder them in with the reflectors because that way when I take the reflectors off, the LEDs will still stay in the same position because they'll be soldered and frozen into place. There we go, now they're all soldered into place. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend the leads on top of one another so that way I can bridge them together later on. There we go, now all of them are laid down evenly and perfectly straight. Now it's time for me to bridge them together. There we go, just solder them in a line so that way the leads stay together. There we go, now I have three negative wires and I'm going to go and connect all the cathodes together. So there we go. I'm going to solder each wire to each cathode. And then bridge the wire, cathode wire, to the cathode connector. There we go, just like that, bridge together. And there we go, the, the cathode is connected. Now I have the blue wire, which will represent the blue LED, and I'll connect the blue leads together. Saw them into place. Bend the wire on top of the leads that connect to the blue LED. Bridge them together. There we go. Now repeat the process again with the red wires for the red LED. Put into place. Fold the wire on top of the lead, bridge it together. There we go, red LED wire connected. And again, same thing with the green wire for the green LED. Connected the exact same way. There we go, now all the wires are now connected. Now it's time to connect the same wire colors together. Okay, so now I'm going to go and connect all the cathode wires or negative wires together. Solder them together just like that. Solder it directly onto the perf board, and then solder the red, green, and blue. All those wires connected the exact same way. Now I'm going to go and check this switch here to see which pins are the pins that are connected. Ah, okay, that means those two pins are the ones that are the correct pins. So the rest needs to be cut off. Those two pins on the top left are the pins to keep on. The rest snip off because they're not needed. That's how you can tell which which pin is which to be able to turn on the circuit to go on and off. So those two pins are the correct ones to use for this particular circuit because that is basically like a double pull double throw switch. So as you can see that board with the LEDs on the right 
Please ignore that because that was actually the first one I made and it was a complete error and a disaster. So please ignore that. Focus on only on the board that's on the left. That's the one I want to talk about mostly about the switches. But the resistor connection is the correct connection. So if you were to have those LEDs connected with the resistor, that's how you do it. Connect it to the two. Connect it to the one pin bridged together with the resistor, just like that. And now go ahead and take the other switch and put it on the other perf board. Solder it into place. Solder the other pin into place and repeat the process on the third one. There we go, just like that. Now I'm taking a negative wire and a positive wire, connecting it to the perf board because that's the battery connector. And now I'm connecting the bridged wires from the positive Soldering it into place, bend it back, solder the other one into place too, and now bridge the entire thing together, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the negative and bridge the negative together. the bridged pins, solder them into place, and bridge them together. There we go, just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and bridge the negative to the negative connection. Now I have my three colored LED wires, and I'm going to go ahead and connect each wire to the perf board, so that way they connect to the positive. There we go, now the wires are on the perf board. Now I connect those two pins together, just like that. And now, like what I said about that previous perf board with the three LEDs, that was a mistake. This is the first one I was showed you in the first part of the video. That's the correct one. The other one was a mistake, so please ignore that one with the first LEDs on it. This is what the proper configuration is. But the connection of the resistor still remains the same as what you saw previously. Just to try to avoid any kind of confusion. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the cathode to the resistor and now connect the blue wire to the blue wire for the blue LEDs, connect the green wire to the green wire to the LEDs, and connect that yellow wire which really represents the red wire for the red LEDs. And there we go, everything's connected. So turn on red LEDs and success. Green LEDs, success. Blue LEDs, success. So everything is all connected exactly the way I want. Now let's go ahead and build a simple housing. And I'm going to use cardboard. There we go, cut the cardboard in a perfect straight line. There we go, you have now a square piece of cardboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the circuit and put it on top of the board to get an idea of how big it is. Now I'm going to go and put a bunch of hot glue all over it and place the circuit on top. Now I'm going to go put a bunch of hot glue all over the circuit board that has the switches on it and glue it on the back of the cardboard. 
glue down the wires. Put the glue all over the exposed wires so that way everything stays insulated. Put the reflector LEDs back on and glue them into place. Now put the reflector LEDs on and glue them into place. Just like that. And there you have it. Now everything's all glued into place, just like that. Now go ahead and take the 9 volt battery, place it on like that, and place some rubber bands to hold it into place. And there you have it. Your RGB LED flashlight is now done. Let's go test it out. Now you have blue LEDs, green LEDs, red LEDs. And there you have it, your very own RGB LED flashlight. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.